Hello, hello, and welcome to my fifth unboxing video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage. Now, since this is the fifth time I'm opening this box, I've got to say this at the beginning of every video, but I have seen plenty of these cards by now, uh, which means I'm probably not going to be uh, stopping to point out all of the different commons, and most of the super rares, really. So, if you want to see my initial reaction to a lot of those cards, then maybe check out my first unboxing video for this set. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. So, with that out of the way, and if I can get this plastic off, here we go. Uh, let's get down to it. Now, I am still, still looking for the uh, Divine Arsenal uh, Automatic... Ampharos Zeus. I don't know what the AA stands for. Maybe it doesn't stand for anything. Maybe I'm trying to give it meaning where there is none. But in any event, um, we have found that these boxes are very much mapped together. Um, we know that they like to put the super rares and even the uh, super rares, the secret rares, and even the ultra rares right next to each other. And uh, sometimes, even in the same places between boxes, I've found... So I'm going to do something different this time. I'm going to shuffle them up real good. And... Um, there. Now we have no idea where the good stuff is. It could be anywhere. Our uh, Starlight Rare Zeus could be in the very first pack, for all we know. These packs could all contain Starlight Rare Zeuses. Oh, that's not likely. Anyway... Let's, uh, there. There we go. Let's start with this one. Let's see what we've got. It'll be a surprise every time this way. So, Banquet of Millions. A solid card. And our first card is the Tri-Brigade Keras. Hey, for once it's not a dual avatar feat. That was our first card for a couple of the videos, I think. Now, how about this pack? What do we have here? Well, um, it is... Oh, it's Virtual Dragon, uh, Long Long. Yep, our old friend. We've seen a lot of that one. Let's take one from this pile this time. Now, what do we have here? Well, it's the next card. Well. It is Mutant Mist. There we go. Starting off with the Mutant Archetype already. I don't think I've actually seen any of the ultra-rare mutants yet, have I? I'm pretty sure there are some. There might even be a secret rare. But I haven't seen any yet. What do we got? Oh, hey, this is actually uh, one I don't recognize. Dogmatica Ashion. Well, that's probably not a bad one to get. I think people like the Dogmaticas, so it's probably pretty good. That is a lot of stars. Wow. That is a high-level monster. It's got to cheat itself into play, right? Oh, uh, yeah, if something's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Yeah, okay. There you go. That's how they do it. Anywho. What is in this one? Oh, it... One of those weird packs that opened along the top. A few of them are like that. Not all of them, but some of them. Enough of them for me to notice. Okay! Well, there you go. Mission accomplished. Would you look at that? I got the card that I wanted to get. I am very happy with that. Uh, that very much makes this box worth it. Look at that. That is a very, very cool looking... Uh, light machine secret rare. I really wish it was a dark machine. Maybe one day there'll be there will be one. Uh but yeah, what does what does this do? You can if, uh XYZ monster battled. Yeah, you can play this using it as material, yeah. And then you can remove some materials and wipe the field, yeah. Pretty good card, really. I'm very happy to get that. That was a good pull. Hey, what do you know? 
Uh, well, it's it's the storm crows in the back, you know, my, my lucky storm crows. They gave me their blessing. What do we... Ooh! Well, there we've got the two secret rares back to back. I guess I didn't shuffle this well enough. Well, um, yeah, like I said, there was indeed a mutant secret rare, and I had not seen it yet. But I've seen it now. Look at that. Uh, three big mutant monsters, you need to uh, fusion summon it, and it does a whole bunch of stuff. Well, the mutants aren't really the ones I was looking for, so, uh, still, pretty cool. Well, now, somewhere in this pile, there are three more ultra rares. So we'll see what they are. Uh, we've got Joyous Melfies, a very pretty, colorful little card. Actually looks a little bit odd on this dark background. Not ah, still. Very cute. And some other cards in the pack, too. Now, how about this one? Well, what do we have? We have a hua, UA Hyper Stadium. Nice. And Tri Brigades and Phantom Knights. Oh, and I dropped a pack, okay. What does this pack contain? Well, uh, did I miss it? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's Infernoble Knight, uh, Captain Oliver. Good, good. Oh, a whole bunch of these synchros in this pack. I do like the different colored backgrounds. They really break up the look of these packs, so it's not all just effect monsters and spells and traps. We've got Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. And the same two synchros as the last box, I think. Or box pack. Oh, this pack is uh, a mess. Oh well, whatever. One way or another it opens. Uh, we've got this Virtual World Gate. Uh, skipped over all the common cards to get there. Wow, there's not a lot of monsters in this pack. Interesting. Oh. I should probably take this one out of the pile, though, before I put it away. Okay, what do we got? What do we got here? Uh, well, we've got a few things, you know, just stuff. Uh, dropped that card. But we've got the Ultra Rare Mutant Evolution Lab. Okay. It's kind of neat. So that is now our second Ultra Rare that we got in this box. Put the card that I dropped in the pile with the others. So there should be two more. Uh, let's see if we can get that uh, Virtual World Ultra Rare. That seems to be the one that's uh, real good. Ooh, Rock Band Xeno Guitar. Like to see that one. It's a ridiculous card. Is there a whole Rock Band archetype of rock monsters? If there isn't, there should be. Now, what do we got? What do we got? Come on. We've got Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao. Okay. And some Infernity stuff and Phantom Knight stuff. Oh, this pile's a little bigger than the other one. Let's start taking it down to size. So, what do we have? What do we have? Whoop, we've got Mutant Arsenal, that's what it is. Into the pile, as we, you know, just sort of flip through these other common cards. We've, we've seen Rookie for Hire countless times by now. All right, so, what do we have in this pack? Well, we have a Mutant Synthesis. We have seen that one a few times by now, too. Really, we've seen all of the uh, super rares quite a few times, I think. Uh-huh, what do we got? We've got Virtual World Beast. And other things, more Virtual Worlds. There's a lot of Virtual World cards in this set. All right, then. What do we have here? Oh, well, there we there it is. There's the, uh, what is it, the third? Yeah, the third ultra-rare, this Mutant ST-46. 
which I don't think I have yet, actually. So I guess that was a pretty good one to pull. So this is the small mutant monster. The entire deck probably builds off of this somehow. That seems to be the way that they design these things. There's always one, uh, like, linchpin card that everything else builds from. Now, what do we got? What do we got? Show me the goods. Uh, oh, it is a dual avatar empowered Kongyo. I haven't seen this one yet either. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah, it needs... Oh my gosh, what the... It needs dual avatar fists and two more dual avatar monsters. This is a big fusion. Cool. Very cool. I wonder if the dual avatar cards are any good. There's certainly a lot of them. Now, what have we here? We've got Infernity Doom Archfiend. I guess at this point we're really just counting down super rares, though. There's probably not a very high chance of us finding a uh, fifth ultra rare or a third secret rare. Uh, dual Avatar Fists. Mind you, I know that in Magic the Gathering, every once in a while they print these, like, god boxes that are just loaded with mythic rares and foils and cool stuff. Do they do that with Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, virtual World Hime. Hime. Gotta pronounce it right. I believe the first time I saw that card I called it Virtual World Heim. Yeah, that's definitely not what it's called. What do we got? We got more dual avatar feet. Well, we got another one, but at least it wasn't the first one we got. Or the, the first pack in the box, rather. So, the last pack. What does it contain? Is there any chance that this is a Starlight Rare? Yeah, probably not really, huh? Nope, it is dual avatar feet. A lot of dual avatar feet. Well, there we go then. Uh, that is it. That's the end of the box. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up all these uh, super rares and we can scroll through them. Got some, yeah, virtual world stuff and a ton of dual avatars. Oh, a decent number of mutants too. Yeah, oh, we got two of her again this time. UA and mutants. Yeah, yeah, tri-brigade. Oh, I nudged my light. Sorry about that. What else do we have here? These are the ultra rares. We've got, yeah, dual avatars and mutants, a mutant spell card, and a dogmatica card. Wasn't really expecting to see more dogmatica stuff, but hey, it looks pretty cool anyway. And then we have the secret rares. Of course, Mutant Ultimus, a very large fusion monster, and the Divine Arsenal, A.A. Zeus Sky Thunder. That is quite a name indeed. But there it is. After all this searching, I finally found one of the cards I was looking for. That isn't the 10,000 Dragon, of course. That was a uh, an outlier, <laughs> because... When I was looking for, what was it, Triple Tactics Talent and Lightning Storm, oh, I got so many of those boxes. Didn't find one. A little sad. But, you know what, I'm happy I got what I was looking for, so, um... That's a good note to end this video on. So, if you enjoyed it, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and I do hope that you join me again in my next unboxing video. Till then, ta-ta!